Sam, 2-0. I liked it. I've had a great day. Uh, it was an excellent performance for all those younger players. Mourinho built the game up saying, oh, you know, it's going to be really difficult. I hope he doesn't bring Benteke. I hope Wilfred Zaha goes slowly for us, and he did. And I think it's going to be difficult and, you know, the FA might punish us. It was almost like he was building up a historic defeat because of the youthful players he would play. Perhaps that is maybe a little bit of an insight into Mourinho's uh, psyche in the way he views young talent. But actually, those players were excellent. I mean, why haven't we seen Josh Harrop all season? I know he's come into a game that doesn't really mean anything, so the pressure's off a little bit. But when he was playing out left, cutting on his right foot, he was genuinely excellent. And that first half was so exciting. The second half, Pop went off the pitch. And as per, we were a little bit worse than usual because we didn't have Paul Pogba. But good performance a, a nice way to end a forgettable season a goal and an assist as well for Pogba ahead yeah. of the, the game in Stockholm could that be important for him yeah, um, I think he's a he's got a big enough sense of self a big enough understanding of his own talent not to worry about it but I think whenever something like that happens that's good mm. so I think good and what was your bright spot of today like what is the the lasting memory you'll take home with you today because we saw a lot of youngsters make their debuts we saw Josh Harrop score his, his first ever goal. Yeah. Um, so what, what's the memories you'll be taking? Just trying to look at that dog that's barking in the background. Uh, I think Josh Harrop. I think he was like really, nothing on Berber. He, <laughs> exactly, that's my dog. He was really exciting in the first half and um, his feet were so quick. He was very silky. I've really enjoyed watching him. Sorry? <laughs> that guy was in VIP. The food was good and the food was free. And the, the game was Result. something. <laughs> Don't do drugs, guys. Don't do drugs. Uh, no, I thought Josh Harp. Josh Harp is a thing that I'll go away thinking, what a guy. But also, the lasting influence of Paul Pogba. Because when he's withdrawn, games just, we just, we lack something so important. And because this, this is a team that beat Chelsea. Yeah, who have course. won the league yeah. at home. Now, I know they've lost that bite. They're not yeah. fighting against relegation. But mm -hmm. it wasn't a poor team that we played today. No, it wasn't. No, we were playing a team that's actually had some excellent performances. Wilfred Zahar is uh, maybe one of the most take-on completers. And he got, I, know, I know why he's the most fouled now as well. Yeah, Dimitri Mitro had him in his pocket, didn't he? Had no yeah. problem. Yeah, I thought it was great. I, what about no... them tackles from Timbo in the first half? Like, there was if, one point when Zaha was here's in. A, here's a negative. It's not a real negative, but here's one. I'd like to see Fosu Mensa push forward more. What, in midfield, where he normally yeah. plays? Well, in the first half. No, but being like Tony V would have been down that wing a lot because there was a lot of space to be attacked and he wasn't too worried about it. He was a bit calm. And that's hardly a complaint. Could it, could it be tactical because of the threats they yes, have? Actually, the that's a very good point. It shut me up, didn't it? Yeah, stay further back because Wilfred Zaha is really fast and tricky. So. There's a reason why I hold this mic, Sam. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it would fall to the floor. <laughs> uh, how do you feel going into the final? Um, confident. I think we rested the players who needed to rest. Um, I think Jesse Lingard probably is going to start, isn't he? Because he had the same uh, amount of time as Pogba and he didn't play at Tottenham, I don't think. He certainly didn't play at St Mary's. So I think he's going to play. But, I mean, he was really bright today. He's the kind of person that people moan about, I think, being on the pitch. But he was... He was taking the game to Crystal Palace and causing attacks. He got a, an assist after an excellent run for that Pogba goal. And I'm glad that he's going to play. So I think he's good. And I think he does a lot. I don't think he has the natural ability of someone like Anthony Martial, but I think he has a work rate that we will maybe need. Someone said today, like, Lingard stood out for them. Yeah, I think he had a great game. I think if he didn't stand out for... I think it's because half these youngsters are on his wavelength, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. know what he wants to yeah. do. Or everyone out there wants to play football. They yeah. wants to move, they wants to yeah. pass. Get going. And we don't really have that when no, they're... He has a lot of drive. He's not someone who usually gets the ball and thinks, oh, we'll just knock it back. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with holding on to possession, but he wants to create things, and I like that. See, I'm not the only one that backs Jesse. Um, Jesse Sam Lingard. Does too, and Sam's normal, and Sam's like, isn't that mad or anything like that? Right, before you go, because you're not mad, and I sure. am. Yeah. I'm sure. a bit pissed off with Jose. Should I be? Um, I think you've probably taken it personally, but I still think he should have the respect to walk around because the idea of the lap of honour is not so much the fans giving their appreciation to the players it's more about the players showing their appreciation to the fans that have supported them all season and Mourinho can say you know I didn't want to take away from the players but it's not about taking away from the players it's about giving something back so I think he should have been on that walk he should have been clapping the fans because it has been a disappointing season in this place over here and he has to take some level of respect for that and say thank you to the people that have turned up each week and cheered and clapped and endured endless draws so I See, I wasn't mad. I think he should have. And draw, uh, draw. Yeah, I know, it's good, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, Sam, before you go, man, I'm not. Um, Harrop, yeah, he's great. Um, I like him. 
Uh, which out of those players do you think we'll see most in the first team next season? Well, uh, based on the fact that we've seen him more this season, you think maybe McTominay, but I suspect we won't see any of them. I was say Pug. <laughs> <laughs> if we do, I mean, Fosu Mensa, but he doesn't really count because he's already been playing. But if we do, I mean, you'd hope Josh Harrop, but the kind of players we endlessly get linked to suggest we're going to be buying more attacking players. There's already a lot that we're missing today. It's going to be very difficult for any of them to get further time. But maybe if we have a better campaign in the league, people like Harrop and McTominay, and I mean, Dimitri Mitchell, I thought was really good as well. I think maybe he might be underlooked because he's not an attacking play, he's not playing in the middle. Um, might get some League Cup time or something, that would be nice. Yeah, man.